review is going to focus on how the car feels behind the wheel from the driver seat and not going to focus on things which you already know like the theater screen behind or the automatic doors or the technological marvel that this car is but it is going to be focusing on how good this car drives because you are watching KKC on a motive and let's get started so this car is based on the updated CLAR platform that is nothing but the updated version of the cluster architecture so this platform fits into the BMW's power of choice strategy what that means is one platform many solutions let me elaborate this same platform can be had with an internal combustion engine and a mild hybrid system attached to it which this is the 740i then the second option is a plug-in hybrid and the third option is a complete EV in the form of the i7 one platform solution that is what BMW calls it the power of choice strategy right so let's talk about this engine <laughs> this is the same engine from my M340i but it is the LCI tune I say this because it is hybridized mild hybridized to be specific a 48 volt mild hybrid system has been attached to this beautiful engine the B58 and this is the technical update to B58 that means it generates approximately 40 more horsepower than the previous generation 740 and that that makes it uh, give this B58 the M performance tune which the previous generation 7 series the 40i did not have beautiful engine note is surely reminding me strangely of uh, <laughs> my M340i in a good way but let's talk about the torque numbers because uh, my M340i has 500 Newton meters also I'm going to stop speaking about the M340i unnecessarily because that's irrelevant for the target audience here but however the torque numbers this is having 520 newton meters so that's a 20 newton meter advantage of what this b58 tune has and uh, where, another point is that this is having a torque band which is uh, which means it's a variable torque on demand thanks to this mild hybrid system it can generate anywhere between 520 and up to 540 newton meters of torque so that is something again a great advantage what this tune has in store for you as 740i owners right <laughs> so the 0 to 100 numbers are typical bmw which means they lie the factory coated is 5.4 seconds and in real world it feels like a 5 second car also as we are in sport mode it is essential to point out the beautiful ambient lighting here which is lit up in the BMW M colors it looks absolutely encouraging to see this as a driver as a keen driver and uh, I would like to also throw some light on my modes which is this so there are totally seven modes right now I'm in sport mode there is a personal mode customized uh, option available there is an efficient there is an expressive mode which I will click right now so the display is changed the ambient lighting changed. I get a massage then there is a relaxed mode as well I would like to say that uh, I missed out one point while I was speaking about the platform and I would like to highlight that point right away that this generation of the 7 series now only gets one wheelbase because previously there was a short wheelbase and a long wheelbase the long wheelbase was in this uh, engine would have been called a 740 Li but now it has been standardized there is uh, the adaptive suspension what this car gets uh, particularly this spec 
there is another M driver package which I'm not sure whether this has, but uh, this is a nice upgraded version of BMW's original adaptive suspension. It does change the ride height as well. It's a 20 up, uh, 10 down, and uh, by that I mean in uh, rough road situations you can raise the height up to 20 mm from the standard ride height and if you want to go into the sport mode like we are right now on a nice corner so here the car will be lowered by 10 mm and i'll tell you this doesn't feel like a car or handle like a car of this segment couple of more things I would like to highlight about the handling is now the track is wider both up front and the rear and speaking of rear this is a pure rear wheel drive car uh, the 7 series will I mean sorry the i7 will be an all wheel drive so before we talk about the ride quality I would like to mention the body rigidity which in this generation has been enhanced and this adds a sense of more security as well as uh, reassurance while going over bad roads and uh, those uh, road uh, imperfect undulations. Now coming to the suspension, uh, I would say that uh, this is the two axle air suspension what uh, this generation of 7 series uses and uh, the worthy thing to mention is that irrespective of where the passengers are sitting in the car, the ride height is maintained by the suspension. To be honest, um, 7 Series were not always the best riding vehicles in their category. With this, it may reach the S-Class levels of comfort, adding a bit of uh, floaty nature but not compromising on handling and that is the beauty I would also like to mention that uh, another major change for this generation is the omission of run flats and now we are running a tubeless setup in a non M car as standard factory fitted so that is also enhancing the ride comfort to on multi levels and uh, this is definitely a good news for customers in India. <laughs> so uh, this is the executive seat function <laughs> and I got to tell you it feels properly boss mode and if I had to describe the interiors in this position overall the materials as well as the entire feel in two words and those two words would be modernly rejuvenating. Let's talk about the newly designed steering wheel because this is, I believe for the first time BMW has given a flat bottom design and it looks extremely special, very intricately designed. This is the M Sport trim and truly a piece of art, the steering wheel. Coming to the center console, I would say it is beautifully designed and looks futuristically elegant that is the best way to describe the design of the interiors this crystal glass element out here beautifully and discreetly houses the ambient lightings which is fascinatingly intuitive 
and makes the ambience feel like it's a laser concert in here. So the crystal glass elements and the theme continues on the door. We do have the similar treatment on the iDrive knob as well as the gear selector. Speaking of the iDrive, this is uh, the latest generation iDrive 8. But it is no longer latest because I was reading a news article just last week and I got to know BMW has launched the iDrive 8.5. So I strongly believe the 8.5 should be available for the iDrive 8 setups. So ever since the 7 series debuted about 45 years ago, it has redefined highly exclusive individual mobility every new generation and with this 7th generation of the 7 series it is no different.